what is up guys and welcome back to new game plus today i got you guys another video i recently put it a post in my youtube channel community asking why emulated you what guys want to see next and you guys requested to see more um golfing emulator emulating nintendo gamecube and uh, some Wii games so here i am with the video now and uh, like i said i'm gonna be testing this emulator um on my ipad and also my iphone but for this uh, specific test i'm gonna be testing it again on my ipad pro n1 and one of the games i'm gonna be testing right now is gonna be uh, resident evil 4. i tested this game before on my iphone 13 pro max using the dolphin emulator uh, which that video was actually quite popular so thank you so much for the support and thank you for the views for that video i really appreciate that that ki that keeps me motivated to keep coming with more videos like this so thank you so much for that i really appreciate it so now i'm gonna have the same test but instead i'm gonna have it running on my ipad problem one because i haven't done it i only did it on my iphone so here we go so first of all we're gonna have the game um the emulator running as you guys know i'm gonna have the video that i mean the, uh, the links down below in the video description on how to do this and there's two ways to run this emulator you need to have the beta version of this emulator and the way to run this emulator is either using all jib bit is going to be down below in the video description and i have an annotation here too showing you how to do that using the all store r jib and the other way to do this is my personal favorite which is using uh jitterbug i also going to have an annotation here and down below in the video description is going to be a link on how to set this up but for this specific method you need to have two ios devices in order to do this but for me like i mentioned before it's my preferred method but now i have both of those tutorials up in my channel so i hope you guys enjoy so right now you guys can see it right now but i'm actually on my phone i'm gonna click on the jit so i can run the emulator you're gonna see the message right now i'm gonna try to do resident evil 4 now that we go, we're getting that message. We need to activate JIT. Like I said, you could check uh, down below in the video description the two ways to do it. And you wanna do use Alt Store or you wanna use Jitterbug like I'm doing right here. So right now I was waiting for the JIT. Let me do that from my phone. I'm connecting. And it's giving me an error, but when you see this error, don't be don't be afraid of that. It happens, especially using um if you're using jitterbug sometimes uh, the files are not connected through the network it's sometimes depending how many devices you have connected in your network and i do have a lot of devices in my network so that's why when you try that couple of uh the first time is always giving you an error but right now it went through successfully so if i click on the game now it should be running now there we go it, there we go games is running perfect and that was using jitterbug so like i said the first time you're always gonna see like an error but after that everything's gonna be fixed and let me go real quick in the settings so i could show you how i'm running this emulator what's the graphic settings i'm using and um let's go to settings real quick we're gonna go to actually we need to close the game but uh, the jit is already running so i should be able to put it with no issue without ha having to use jitterbug again because it's already the jit is already running in the in the app so as long as you don't close the app if you're using all store or jitterbug it's still gonna be running with jip so you don't have to like do it again so let me show you real quick the settings so let's go to graphics let me show you what i have on graphics so i'm gonna go to general uh back end i'm using I'm using Vulkan, that's my favorite backend that I use. I, in all the games that I run uh, in this emulator particularly, I use Vulkan, so I'm using the Vulkan. Aspect ratio, I have it on four by three because this is, a, uh, this is the aspect radio for my iPad, it's four, four by three, so I'm gonna be running on that aspect radio. You're gonna see this along with the video, but I'm gonna have for your viewing, for your viewing uh, convenience, I'm gonna have it uh 16 by 9 but let me try 16 by 9 to see how it comes out in the video but if not you're gonna keep it back to 4 by 3 and like i said i'm gonna have it all fixed up in the in the video so you guys can see a lot better so 
uh, always had the uh, frames to be showing. So now, um, right here, the resolution. The resolution that I like to use, I like to run it uh, 1440p, which is 2K. The screen resolution here on the iPad is more close to 1440p than, 4, than 4K. You could do 4K in some other games for uh, it's gonna actually sharpen the, the the visual, but I like to have a 1440p. There's no reason to like push it to the limit unless it's not doing like a stream test with it. So I'm just gonna have a 1440p. That's my preferred setting when I'm using this emulator on my iPad. And everything else, we're gonna leave it as you guys can see here. So those are the settings that I'm running with. So now let's go back to the game. I'm running it. And we're probably gonna be running this for around maybe five five minutes, ten minutes, uh, depending how long the video is gonna be. Because I know some of you guys don't take all the way to watch the whole video through. So I'm gonna do it as quick as possible. I just wanted to show my settings just in case you're wondering about the settings, because uh always get those questions, everything that within the the comments on my previous videos and so on. So well, those are the settings that I'm using in the emulator. Let me see my safe is still here. Oh, look at that, my safe uh, is still here for one of the tests that I did before. Let's load that save. But actually what we could do is we could play from the beginning. I'll continue where I left it. Well, as you guys can see, oh, there we go. Oh wait, there's uh there's no audio, so I'll fix that right now. You're gonna hear the audio of the game right now. Just give me a few. Let me just uh open this right here on my computer. I'm actually recording this using my capture card. So that way I'm not hampering the performance of the iPad at all. I just passing the video through the capture card so I could have the full performance of the game. So I'm doing this this way so you have you guys can see the full, full, full performance. And there we go. Now we have the audio in the game. You could hear it right now. Perfect. There you go. Now we got audio in the game. As you guys can see, it is running at 1440p. The game is actually locked to 30 frames per second. That's on, originally the game was locked at 30 frames per second. Um, there are patches for the game, so you could put it at 60 i haven't got it applied here yet i need to figure that out too because i know how to do it on the pc version of the dolphin emulator but i need to uh, read the documentation for the emulator to see how to do it here but yes the game the game is low at 80 frames per second and as you guys can see they actually the game looks nice and sharp so it looks nice and beautiful <laughs> And let me see, I press up my mistake. I just trying to get accustomed to the controllers again. I think shooting should be there. We go, perfect. Reloading. No, that's that's the menu. Reloading. There we go. Got it. So running. Oh, there we go. Got it. So this is right after the beginning of the game. You see the um, the graphic are disconnecting and connecting. Sometimes it. Uh, it's triggering uh, copyright protection stuff on my iPad, so that's why you see them. But it actually, this capture card and this cable that I'm using is the one that gave me the less trouble. So you're going to see the here and then, so I try not to move too much. I probably hit the cable, and that's why it's acting up like that. Oh, no, I think I collected everything here already. Yeah, I collect everything here already. So if I remember correctly, I need to go around it to go to the town, to the village, I mean. Oh, there we go. Let me see. And I did this already on the... I think this is actually... This is actually I think this is my save from the... From the phone, from the uh, iPhone 13 Pro Mac when I was playing. So I think my uh, my data has been synchronized with my with my drive. Not too sure, but uh, there we go. 
this is up to the part where I played on my phone showing you guys and let me help this guy uh, you didn't hear about this I played this a long time ago um, but I'm talking about me playing the game I'm talking about this little guy here if you help this guy later on if I remember correctly in a boss fight he actually gonna bring the, the wolf path to help you in a boss fight so helping him doing that little action of kindness, kindness uh, it will actually help you along. Like I know in a boss fight later on, they're going to show up and they're going to help you. But as you guys can see, the, ga the game looks really nice and gorgeous. It's a 1440p. You could push it to 4K. It will actually be locked to 30 frames. But in some games, I noticed that the frame drop, but depending on... Um, What's going on during the screen, but this one I'm able to play at 4K also 30 frames per second with zero issues, especially when not, I'm not recording from the screen. Since I'm using the capture card again, and um, the iPad can use a full performance for the emulator. The next thing that I would like to see is the PlayStation 2 emulator because recently the ETRS X2, the one that's for Android, um, the core of PC X2, they actually came out with a version for the Mac. So hopefully we're gonna see an iOS we're gonna see an iOS version of the ETRS X2, which uh, like I said before, what I, what some of my videos, that's the best PS2 emulator for mobile. And I hope to see that soon. Let's see, he comes. Oh, he didn't come. Okay, that worked. Yeah, that works. Nice. I thought he was gonna be stupid enough to go through it, but he didn't go through it. So, as you guys can see, the game's performing super well. It's really nice and beautiful. You guys saw uh, the quality real quick. Just to show you guys, I'm going to switch it to 4K. So let me just uh, create a safe state real quick for this game. So we could load it right away. So let's just quit the game. We'll have to quit. The only thing you have to quit uh, the game so you could change the graphics. So if you want to do that every single time, you will have to like close the, uh, close the game. And then you could um, change the graphics. So they're going to put it to 4K. There we go. 4K. Now let's boot the game again. Go gains this one, and I'll go. Let's say, wait for this to low before we try to load the, the safe save. So now I could try to load the safe save. Um, I usually do this because sometimes when I'm when the game is just booting up and I just try to load the safe save right away, it crashes the app. So to avoid, I just did that. Boom, there we go. As you guys can see, now the game is running at 4K, it looks a little bit more sharper. And like I said, the game is locked at 80 frames per second. So you could play however you want, 4K, 2K. And uh, you're going to see uh, the performance is, is not is not that bad. Just a little screen right there, turning on and off. Like I said, something um, appear on my screen. So it is copyright protected. So it's going to get interrupted. But so as you guys can see, running this at 4K also is actually, it actually feels the same. But like I said, you just putting extra resources and your iPad screen is near 1440p, has enough pixels for 1440p. That's the main reason why I run against a 1440p when I'm playing emulators on the iPad. Well, so that's why my guy is like, hey, where is the guy? I thought he's going from behind me. Is it? Oh, no. It's not from behind. Oh, it's from the front. Uh, okay, I hear the music. What's this guy? Uh? Just getting used to the buttons. There we go. I don't see him. Oh, there we go. They're down here. There you go. By the bridge. Oh, 
Oh no! I confuse the buttons. Damn it! I confuse the buttons, man. Ah! There we go. He's in the PlayStation controller, so I, I press the wrong button. There you go. I'm doing that again. There we go. Oh, much better. There we go. Getting used to the controller when you're using a different controller that is not something similar to that is kind of confusing. So, either way, the performance, like I said, is really good, especially when you're not recording from the device itself. When you have a capture card, you could actually utilize the full performance of the emulator. So, that's why I'm always using my capture card. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to leave a like, leave a comment if you have any questions. And if you have any other suggestions, always check my community tab because I leave uh, some polls asking what you guys want to see next. To see... Uh, what my next video is gonna be. So I noticed somebody voted for SNES. So my probably my next video is gonna be an SNES video. So once again, thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys on the next one.